Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome the Irish team manager, Anthony Tolhill. The Australian coach, Rodney E. The Irish captain, Stephen Clarkston. The Australian captain, Brad Green. And the teams representing Ireland and Australia. Well, here they are coming out, to, uh, Kevin. Uh, we, we talked about how brilliant the Irish were. We talked about their goalkeeper, but they had more than just that, didn't they? They had uh, Steve McDonnell up forward, who's been a uh, former captain, and uh, he was very dangerous up forward. And I guess, most interestingly, we, we know about Ty Kennelly, but uh, Tommy Walsh, didn't he excite, particularly in the first couple of quarters? It'd be interesting to see if Joel Patful goes to him. A tall defender from the AFL that's used to playing on tall forwards, but uh, Walsh was superb. And I think the Sydney Swan supporters, they've got him, of course, uh, through the trade period, would have been delighted with his performance. And what about from the Australian point of view? We see the Irish team there, but... What about from the Australian point of view about the players? Are you looking for that natural improvement from particularly? Well, well I'd look for Angus Monfries too. 125 games under his belt. He did play as a junior too with uh, Andrew Swallow back when the AS under-17 team played the Irish. So a game under his belt, I'd expect him to be an important player for the Australians tonight. And it, will there be many changes in the tactics? There, there's been a lot of speculation about the physical nature of that, uh, what Australia could do to Ireland. Obviously, Rodney Eade's been keen to make sure it stays within the spirit of the game, but they'll need to be a lot more physical, won't they? Oh, they will be. But the genuine AFL tackle is allowed. You've got to be careful that uh, you don't go head high. That's the only thing. That's the same in the AFL. So I think they'll be aggressive in the approach on the ball or certainly the way they tackle and dump the Irish players. And that, no doubt they would have looked at tapes too about the way the Irishmen use the footy. But let's go back downstairs. Time for the national anthems. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to stand as we welcome Vincent O'Connor to perform the Irish national anthem followed by Katie Aspelling to perform the Australian National Anthem. <laughs> 